fisting my ass. Master, master, master. Dick. Yeah, 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 yeah.
You got two seconds to explain what you're doing on my property. I still remember that smoky, dark night when I walked into that bar. I saw her sitting there. The chat. Those gams, they went on for miles. And then she was bad for me. She was my only vice. She kept saying, uh, pause champ. And small it's... Wait, what is that? Uh And then my old friend Zenny Gecko walked in with a raid. My old pal. I was shivering in my little boots, wondering what would happen next. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> welcome, welcome raiders. Welcome in. Hello, thank you. Th thank you so much. You there. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you so much, Sen. I love you. What a fucked up world we live in. All these geckos running around. Someone's gotta tame them. Someone's gotta get to the bottom of this mystery. Where do they come from? Why are there so many of them? Why do they kind of smell like Tide Pods? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. I'm about to sell my soul. To solve it. <laughs> Your 
You're so stingy. What the fuck? Oh, thank you for the rant. It's a gecky gek world out there. <laughs> I want to play Gex too. Zen, have you ever considered playing Gex? Gex the Gecko? Have you ever played that? Oh, no. I, I forgot about the alerts. And then I heard it. That familiar sound. That... Toe-tapping, knee-slapping reverberation. The cheeks of her ass. <laughs> I'm gonna knock your block off, kiddo. I forgot all about it. No, that one, that one wasn't thighs. That one was definitely a, a butt. Unfortunately. Man, which one of you is fodded in this elevator? Stinks the high heavens in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a... I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm a detective. I'm gonna solve many mysteries today. <laughs> L.A. Noir. Noir. Noir? I tried to make some kind of cat pun with it, but... Oh yeah, I'm not pink cat anymore. I'm Lesha Noir. <laughs> Where is she? Yeah, I'm... I'm feeling the, the noir... The noir vibes. Uh... How is everybody doing? Did you have a good weekend? I've been really busy. I had to do something today that was really nerve-wracking. And to be honest, I'm still kind of nerve-wracked. My... My raspberries are rustled right now. Got a case of the heebie-jeebies. My, my tummy is doing rumbles. Just like this thunder in the background. I had to fill out something important and submit it. I, I, I had to do something like really important today. And I'm waiting on a, a response about it. I, I don't want to say what it is. But... Not taxes, not taxes. I already did those. It's something like that, but... I'm really nervous about it. So please send me lots of prayers. Please lend me your pure hearts. I didn't evade taxes. Of course I didn't. I'm I'm an upstanding citizen. I did do my taxes and they got rejected. Actually, the first time around, <laughs> I had to go and resubmit because I forgot to include something about my health insurance. <laughs> It was nothing... It was nothing bad. But it was kind of bone-chilling to see, like, that message. Like, you know, the IRS can, like, text you. Saying if your form was accepted or not. I... My phone vibrates. I'm just, like, sitting at my desk, like, Oh, I finally got my taxes done. I can relax and just have a good time. Not have to worry about plugging in numbers or giving the government my money anymore for at least another year. And my phone vibrates and I open it up and it says your form was rejected. But I looked into it, and it was a simple fix! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, Insomnia, for gifting those subs! Do not pass go. Do not collect. $100. <laughs> I was a little stinker whenever I played Monopoly with my family. I would always steal the Monopoly money from my brother whenever he went to, like, get up and go get a drink or go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, I have to confess this. I'm sorry! I was young, okay? I'm changed now. I'm on a- I'm on a better path. I am reformed. I'm a- I'm a vigilante now, out here on the streets, fighting crime. Giving my life to keep the city safe. All of you, you go throughout your lives, not even knowing what goes on in the- the underground. And I'm here. To protect you all from the shadows. I am the shadow. I am the night. <laughs> oh, the raid notification just now popped up. Thank you again for the raid and thank you, smooth gentleman, for getting those subs. Thank you very much. Call the police? Police aren't gonna help you. I mean that in like a nice way. I don't mean that in like a. The don't call the police because there's no use doing it because I, I cut the phone lines and you won't be able to seek help in any way. 
while I am inside of your walls. I meant that as like... I'm, I'll keep you safe. The police, they don't know what they're doing. They can't crack this case. They're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Or like chickens staring up into the sky when it rains and trying to drink the rain because they're that dumb. I don't trust them. But you can trust me. <laughs> 911! <laughs> oh yeah, I've been I've been busy lately. Cause I'm I'm gonna move very soon. So I'm a, I apologize in advance if uh my schedule's kinda wonky. It's it's been wonky for like the past few months, but it will even out. I am gonna try to stream a lot more because I feel better when I stream a lot more, and I know you guys like watching streams a lot. And I don't want to deprive you of entertainment. I'll, I'll do my best. But I am moving soon. And I'm going to have a, a better area to live in. A better, uh... <laughs> a better setting for my streams to take place in. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take my time, but... Once it's all... Set aside, I'll, I'll be good to go. Yeah, the most important part is that my place is going to have central air and I won't have to worry about like background noise of my air conditioner or anything like that during the summer. I'm moving to... Uh, Northern Canada. There's blood and bones in the street. <laughs> I'm moving to... Uh, Brazil. No, no, I'm moving to, uh... Norway. Yeah, me and Haruko are gonna stack up in the uh, Yukon. Uh... I'm definitely not gonna push her into a wood chipper. Definitely not gonna go insane inside of a cabin in the winter and end up eating each other. Although, I would like that quite a bit. Uh, free venison! Yeah! Uh, I'm moving to the Bermuda Triangle. That would honestly be kind of cool. Like, living somewhere where there's just like a bunch of like ghost ships. If you could like breathe underwater, you could make a really cool little neighborhood down there out of all the banded ships. Moving to Florida? Yeah. Moving to Florida. <laughs> The Lost City of Atlantis. <laughs> Have you ever seen that song uh, by GMC for Show? Are any of you familiar with that channel, GMC for Show? They're really funny. They're they're based in Detroit and they make like funny funny music with with music videos. They're like really <laughs> like creative and uh, yeah yeah they're from Michigan. My whole mistake. Yeah, they made I'm the best. I'm the best. And my favorite song by them is Speakers So Loud. And there's a line where they like say the speakers are so loud that Atlanta resurfaced. <laughs> the lost city of Atlanta. <laughs> they're so good. One time I bought a shirt from their store and they're so nice. They, they gave me a handwritten note with my order. That told me to have a nice day with like a little smiley face. They put they put so much love and care into it. They they're really really nice. I love their content. I wonder have they uploaded recently? I don't know, cause I haven't watched them in a while. But I really love their music. Please play. I'm the best. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to watch it in black and white, cause I'm too lazy to take this filter off that I put on. <laughs> I'll show you on the best. This doesn't have anything not safe for work in it, does it? You like jazz? Okay, this is from DMC for so. This is like one of their classic videos. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is <laughs> my favorite. I'm the best. 
I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> this is like I'm a positivity anthem about like self love. I'm the best. 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 Standing on a car, finger in the air. With some women's with my fingers in their hair. Yes, I'll be the one that went street by the tournament. Make a million dollars without even earning. I got the highest score in the world on my SAT. And then I Swim. went to Everest to learn how to slay them trees. I don't have to count to know I'm worth a billion. You know what bigger number? I am worth a gillion. A gillion! I'm the best at watching 1990s videos. Power Rangers, all that Keenan kill, all oh, here we go. I'm the Swim. best at making beats, that's right, my voice to track. And my swag is off the charts. <laughs> that's a fact. I'm the best. The editing is perfect. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. A Gillian. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure his name is I'm Gil. The best. I'm the best. I did it. I'm the best. I love how there's I'm like the samurai swords laying on the ground. What are those? They look like samurai swords that I'm you would get best. from like the mall. Like you go to the mall or like some kind of sketchy thing at like a dealer's hall at a convention and it's someone selling fake samurai swords for like 50 bucks. Toasty Biggins for it. I'm the best. <laughs> My car move when I ain't driving it. My car pull, it's got a slide in it. At the target range, scoring all the headshots. Tea bagging y'all, liftings on the rocks. <laughs> Went to Maury and he said that baby ain't mine. Just a line fight. I threw the dump skank on top of a mine. Now that kid's an orphan. This entire thing is a cinematic and I'm the experience. Best. That's a checkmate. They don't make YouTube we videos like this anymore. My finger in the sky, so yeah. much I got arthritis now. There's so much gold on things I touch, they think I'm Midas now. Someone put a crown on my head, I am your highness now. I bet you <laughs> thought you were the best. Minus now, cause I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I wanna listen to speakers so loud, just so I can show you. I'm the best. I'm the best. I swear there won't be any more React to Andy minus I'm that and like best. two other videos I wanted to show because the they're like fan art. I'm the best. People made like cool animations that I wanted to show real quick. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I'm on task today. Put your finger I had my coffee. In. You know that I'm the best. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But what's this? And Grizzly Wonder Dopes? Getting those subs. Sweat. Sweat, 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 sweat. I did it. Wait, let me find speakers to love. This one is really good to play in the car. Speakers so loud. Speakers so loud. Monkey G Lovey, thank you. For getting those subs. Thank you also to kiss a palm. A kiss a real from me to you. Does anyone else like this or like... I like really love driving and I really love listening to music in the car. I did this today actually. I like... I don't want my car ride to end. Especially when like a good song is on. So I will purposely like take the wrong way home or like take the long way home. Or like prolong my car ride as much as I possibly can. <laughs> like I literally like, pull into my apartment complex and I take the longest way possible to get back to where I park. Where I just like, I'll just like take a few wrong turns and be like, whoopsie, oh no, I missed my turn, just so I can listen to the <laughs> song more. Yeah, especially at night. Listening to music in the car at night is the best. I'm the best. Thank you so much, Rolly Poly, for getting all those subs. 
thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, take the scenic route. I have really shitty speakers in my car. I drive a Prius. And anytime like there's bass in a song, it just sounds like bees. It just sounds like I have bees in my car. Bees in my car at McDonald's. It goes like... <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> it's not good, but... I don't know. It still makes me want to stay. Oh god, oh god. It does kind of sound like this. It sounds like the like... The lip farting noise. The... <laughs> Speak so loud. 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 Did I buy buy a Prius for the anime girls? I did. Because in every Prius, all the parts are made up out of anime girls. Officially, not loud enough. Speak so loud. Speak so loud. No, that's no the words to the song. All I know is that fucking bass going bump. <laughs> that fucking bass going bump. I don't know the words to the song. Y'all can hear me round the corner. corner. Speakers grown, they call them groaners. Groaner. Be so sick, I can't stop throwing up. It's your terrorist that blown up. Speakers. <laughs> Abomination, <laughs> fuck what you heard. That's the sound. And you know what else can really bad car oh, sickness? <laughs> bitch, go test my patience. Say it again. Hospital, get more patience. My trunk be blasting. The lyrics yes, are honestly blessing. like so good. Yes, thank you for oh, asking. asking. Come get your ass kicked. See, feels a fast. I still have my shirt Windows that I got from them. It's like black and it has like a little smiley Where face on it. Like a pink smiley face. I will fetch a cash deal. Treasure it. We'll fetch a cash deal. Send my will fetch. Speak a soul loud. Speak a soul loud. I wish I could see them live. I wonder, do they do live shows? Speak a soul loud. I want to hear the speakers so loud in person. Speak a soul loud. I want to feel it like vibrating my entire body. Speak a soul loud. Wait, is that the Halloween theme? In the background? The din 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 Wait... Wait... Was it really this whole time? I had no idea this whole time! <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you for getting all subs, by the way. Why did they use the Halloween theme for that? <laughs> okay, wait, okay. There's this animation someone made from like my last stream. I made the most awful noise. Oh fuck, I forgot that the lights are delayed. <laughs> you like that? Huh? You like that? Uh, this song is designed to make people uncomfortable. You know what? There's so many Death Grips songs that I listen to, and I feel like a grandmother. Like, I like Death Grips, but sometimes at the end of their songs, they just, like, completely go off the rails, and... Uh... Just like create like a cacophony of like the worst noises possible. Just like it seems like they're doing it on purpose just to hurt your ears because it's like, you know, art can be anything. Art is supposed to make you uncomfortable, question things. Art is supposed to be painful. But I'm just sitting there listening to it and I'm like, my ears hole. <laughs> and I end up just like s switching the song right when it gets to the end. <laughs> It sounds pretentious. Yeah, the end of guillotine is the fucking worst. I have to change it every time because it's just like... It makes my ears ring. I feel like a dog sitting there and someone's like... Have you ever made your dogs howl by like playing with like a recorder or something? For some reason, dogs really hate recorders. I guess it like kind of like bothers their ears. And they just go like, oh, that's what I feel like. I got sensitive ears. Your dog used to sing on the piano. That's so cute. 
Oh yeah, and siren sounds! Like that video of the golden retriever. Like, someone's walking their golden retriever and an ambulance drives by and... The dog goes like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> It's so cute! I thought you'd be going deaf by now? Me too! I honestly don't take very good care of my ears. I ignore it, like the warnings when I crank up the audio on my headphones when I'm listening to stuff on my phone. It'll say like, listening to music above a certain decibel level can damage your hearing. I'm like, yeah, 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 sir. Cause it's just, it doesn't feel loud enough. Tinnitus says hi. I actually don't, I don't have ringing in my ears normally unless I listen to death grips. I actually have this problem when like, I'm on a plane. And we're... I think it's during, like, landing, it's the worst. The pressure change makes my ear just, like, explode. And I've tried, like, chewing gum, swallowing air, yawning, all this... all that stuff. And it still just hurts so bad. And I end up being, like, partially deaf for, like, a couple hours after I land. Oh... How do I find... Full day this late. Uh, where's this? Where's the animation? I found it. This is my. Do you remember the animations of like the monkey family from when we did like the Rust RP? This is the from the same artist that did that. They made like <laughs> an animation of me doing the horrifying corn noise, and it's so cute. Oh, sit, I'll sit, I'll sit. Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. What's <laughs> 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 fucking... <laughs> I love the, like, pixelated background of just, like, some random zoo in clothes here. <laughs> and Mouse is just sitting there and motionless. <laughs> it's so accurate. God, the way they animate is so expressive and fluid. I love, like, the facial expressions and the poses and what the f- <laughs> expression. I love it. It's beautiful. Art should make you uncomfortable. <laughs> that's like... That's... That's visible for like a split second. <laughs> what is that face? Is that... Is that... Gilbert Goffrey? Back from the dead? Who is that? That's just me? It does kind of look like me. Aniki? I don't know. Aniki doesn't smile that severely. That's me. Have you seen this man in your dreams? <laughs> that creepypasta story honestly freaked me out a lot. Even though it's like completely a hoax. They looked into it apparently. It was just like a viral marketing scam thing. By some company whose specialty is viral marketing scams. Sorry if I ruined it for anyone else, but... I don't know, maybe you guys can sleep better at night. Knowing that that man won't visit you in your dreams. And if he does, it's only because you fell for a viral marketing scam. I do know who will visit you in your dreams. And... I'm sorry to say it's... There's no explanation for it. And... You need to face him. Because he's coming. Your time is coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much to Newbie is Pearl, by the way. Please subscribe to them and look at all their animations. They don't just make animations of, like, me and my friends. They make all kinds of stuff. For, like, various... Various different media properties. And they also did, like, the G Shoujo April Fool's prank thing for us, too. And they're... Really, really, really amazing. <laughs> oh, there's a video where they saw that I reacted to their animation. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I love being able to like showcase different artists and stuff. Cause I'm really thankful all the time for just like I was talking about this the other night, but 
it blows my mind how I can just like look at my fan art tag or like go on YouTube and there's just like people making with their spare time and energy just like art and animations of me and my friends and it's also just like I, I treasure all of it like I don't care how good it is or or like anything like that it's just like when I look at any fan art that anyone makes, I just think about like how they sat there and worked on that for any amount of time. They took that time out of their life and they made that for me for free, which is insane. And I've like, I want to like track down more fan artists and like pay them to make art for me because I, I love so much of the art that they make. There's one that I'm going to commission actually because like I'm a really big fan of their work and I'm looking forward to working with them but yeah i just yeah people be crazy i love artists thank you i guess you're like the backbone of the vtubing community with everything that you do like we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you just like i wouldn't have this form if it wasn't for artists it seems quiet so there be background music no it's just like my mouth sounds and me rambling at you but soon there will be the noises of ellie noir because i'm booting it up right now after I update it, because apparently there's a 170 megabyte update. Okay! Yeah, I'll put on the background music so you don't feel uncomfortable. I know that the sound of silence can be disconcerting to some. You start hearing things that aren't there. No sound so long! No sound so long! Oh god, I spilled water on my lap! I'm sorry! Why am I apologizing to you? I'm like... I'm nervous as fuck right now, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I feel everybody's staring at me and I'm like... I feel like I need to like apologize for existing right now. <laughs> you forgive me? Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm like doing the full bow where I'm like... My head is touching the floor. My forehead is pressed up against the floor right now. I'm fully prostrated on the floor. I'm great and wonderful and clean. No, you guys! You guys are all queens. You guys are all queens in a big palace. And you got a big fountain that is like a naked dude uh, peeing out water. Or maybe it's not even water. Maybe it's a, like a chocolate fountain. Fount fountain? He's, he's peeing out chocolate. A thick... Viscous thing, the stream of chocolate. <laughs> Am I fully rosebudding? Like that cheat code to get money in The Sims? Or are you talking about like an anal prolapse? Cause that can mean a lot of things. MKC, thank you! <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I'm prolapsing on the floor in front of you all. My eyes are weird. Hold on. There, that's better. For some reason, my pupils were like offset. Update. Up, update, update, update. Dikaiji, thank you. Big words for a little guy. <laughs> little guy, big world. I can't update this game. I think I'm gonna have to restart Steam or something. I didn't know that a game from like... No internet connection. Why does it say no internet connection? I'm streaming right now. Steam is down? Why is Steam down? Thank you, Flying Turtle, for getting no subs. Oh, okay then. Let's return to YouTube <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> Flying Turtle, thank you! It's weekly maintenance? I didn't even know they did weekly maintenance on Steam. Yeah, I run VTube Studio through Steam. I guess because I was already running it, it's fine. But I can't launch anything else or update anything else. You're not live, this is all a dream. It feels like a dream. Feels like I'm actually projecting to everyone right now. 
React Andy it is then? I didn't want to do React Andy today! That's the thing! I didn't even feel like looking at YouTube videos. I wanted to get right into gaming. Who is Nyaners? Who are you behind the mask? <laughs> okay, Nyaners, if that is your real name. You like cats? Name five cats. I am a cat. Uh... Cat gamer. Don't I have the CD-ROM for LA Noir? I don't even have a, a CD, like a disk drive in my computer. Do you guys have disk drives in your computers in 2022? I didn't even install one when I built this thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You don't need those. You can upload everything to the cloud. <laughs> Name five characters from the movie Cats. Uh, Grizabella. Skimble Shanks, the railway cat. Uh, Rump... R Rumple Tugger? Uh... Taylor Swift. Rum... Rum... James Corden, Amy Schumer. Was Amy Schumer in that movie? I feel like Amy Schumer was in Cats. Kanye West. Oh my god, speaking of which... I, for some reason, I was reminded of that episode of South Park where they called Kanye a gay fish. And they did that whole, like, sequence where they made a song about him being a gay fish. I had that song stuck in my head today. <laughs> I don't know if Amy was in that movie, but she does have a big pussy. Maybe Amy Schumer's pussy was in the movie. <laughs> They had to do a lot in the makeup department to get her in there. Like, they had to edit out a lot with CGI. It was too huge. I heard Amy Schumer's pussy was in the, the makeup chair for at least 10 hours. It was really uncomfortable for everyone involved. Yeah, the fish sticks thing! I was singing that song as I was leaving my apartment today. Just absentmindedly. And this girl walks by with her dog and just like gives me the nastiest look I've ever been given. <laughs> I forgot about that until now. I had like squashed that down into my subconscious as yet, like yet another thing that I embarrassed myself about. And you reminded me of it. Damn you. She just like stared at me and made like the, the, like her face was just like contorted in the most like disappointed look I've seen in a long time. But I don't blame her because I was just like leaving my apartment going like. <laughs> I'm a gay fish, gay fish, <laughs> under my breath. <laughs> she didn't like fish sticks, yeah. That, that episode is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucking gay fish. <laughs> Wasn't that song based on like the, the Heartless song? The one that's like... Da -na 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 -na. When is Steam gonna be back? Am I gonna have to... Wait, is it back? I was about to load up some Flash games. I was about to play that Lemonade Stand game. Wait, no, actually I can't even load my library right now. Wait, 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 wait. We're in. Hold on, I'm loading it up. I have to plug in my controller. Show me the money. Show me the money. Pick it up a notch. Steam isn't back for you yet? I guess I got special treatment because I'm a streamer. They forwarded my ticket directly to the Steam headquarters. Wait, actually, why does it say performing first time setup when I've definitely launched this game before? Is it because I patched it? I guess so. Bangers and mash. What is that, by the way? <laughs> like, in British terms. Does that mean, like, is that like a breakfast food? Potatoes and fries? Which part is the banger and which part is the... Sausage and potatoes. Oh! The mash is the tater and the banger is the sausage! <sighs> I 
sé. It's a lunch and dinner. It's a good dinner. Banger. Banger dinner. Finger, I hardly knew her. Wait. Okay, hold on. It's loading, it's loading. Ah! Oh! Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. Ah! <laughs> Motherfucker, why is this so loud? Okay. We're almost in. Okay. I got this. Don't worry. We'll solve this mystery and rewrite history. DuckTales. Woo. Sometimes I like to sing lullabies to my cats. Last night I was singing to my cat and I think he liked it a lot. He was like rolling around on his back and purring. Speakers too loud. Because too loud. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad I don't have to bother with like using the the launcher for this. The like Rockstar launcher. I hate the Rockstar launcher. Your cat hates it when you sing. Maybe your cat just isn't into music. Some people are weird like that. I don't know why I said people when I was referring to your cat. Cats are people too. Uh Wait. I got it. I'm back! Okay. Let's see. Let's mess with the options a little bit. Sound. So is the music volume okay? Like... Let's test this a little. That. And do you guys know, like, is this better to play on controller or on keyboard and mouse? Uh. <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> you look very ravishing tonight. Thank you very much. My son. <laughs> I hope you took the, the chicken out of the freezer and are thawing it right now. Controller? Voice controller? I guess... Best play on Amy Schumer's pussy? I don't even know how the control scheme of that thing works. Pogs in the chat. Pogs in the chat. Where's the cig? But... I don't wanna smoke! That's bad for you. I mean, I guess if I'm playing like a detective game... Set in the 1950s... Smoking was cool back then. And it was good for you back then. Back then, lung cancer didn't even exist. They invented that. At the turn of the century. Hat and a cig? Oh, I think I have some kind of like... From when I played Bloodborne. Sorry, when I tab out of this, the music stops. I think I had... I have so many hats. I have to organize my hat collection. Speaking of... <gasps> I have a fedora! <gasps> I dropped off a ton of shit at Goodwill today. It felt good to start anew. Sometimes, you just gotta let go of all your earthly possessions and have a new start. Okay, I'm only doing this because you requested it. It's not like I want to put a cancer stick in my mouth or anything. It's not like I think it looks kind of cool. Uh... Oh. How's this? <laughs> Is this good? Donated all my weed figures? I'm honestly considering it. I don't really want them anymore. When I look at them, I just feel hollow. Hashtag, we show your cares. Goro does need a hat! Wait, one more thing. Thank you for reminding me. 
fedora. I'll give him a little fedora too. Here you go. What's shaking, bacon? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. <gasps> he's my. He's like, uh, I'm Sherlock Holmes and he's my. Wilson. What? What? Wi Wicker man. <laughs> Cl close enough. Okay, are we ready to go? I've never played this game before, but I have like seen some playthroughs of it. Like I've watched people play it before on stream and stuff, and seen some let's plays. <laughs> Wilson. Should I play it? I considered playing with the black and white filter. Do you think that would be too distracting? Cause I know that's an option, like, in display. Like, you can turn on black and white. Do it? It might be a bit much, like... I don't know, it might be hard to, like, differentiate stuff on screen for people. Do you wanna do a poll? Let's poll it. Black and white, or color mode. I mean, we could always change it back if it ends up being too much. I feel like it would be... pretty... immersive. <laughs> How did old people ever see in black and white? I don't know. Who invented color? Because the world started being more colorful after the 1960s. <laughs> John Color? Jim Color. Oh. Oh, it looks like it's like it's almost 50 50. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I wasn't gonna make that joke. I wanted to. Do... I'm, I'm trying to be on my best behavior today. Because there's, there, there's something I'm really worried about and something like I'm waiting on a response for. And I feel like, you know, it's kind of like when you have to be a good girl all year because Santa is coming. And you don't want to be on the naughty list. I feel like if I... I want to... Make my karma score... Nice and good. Nice and like... Pure. You know? I'm, I'm trying to be pure today. I'm trying to like put good into the world. Cause I know that if I put good in, I'll get good out. Like in one of those like Play-Doh machines. I'm putting like my good Play-Doh in and I'm cranking the little crank and it's coming out good. It looks good. Looks, uh, good consistency. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going good. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be on my best behavior because I feel like the better I act, the more the universe will smile upon me. Sometimes, the earth, it will, it will answer back with, with good vibes. I sound like a, a yoga instructor right now. I sound like... <laughs> I sound like I have a man bun. And I drive a fucking Volkswagen. <laughs> okay, we're going full color. Although... Can I just try the black and white just for like... The opening cutscene? I feel like that would be cool. Just a little bit, please! One volt? We got one guide by one volt. Yeah, oh my god! It's literally 609 versus 608? How the hell did that happen? Okay, we're just gonna... Because it's 50-50... Let's just try black and white for a bit and see how we like it. Cause I'm just like... I think that'd be kinda groovy, you know? I think that would be the cat's meow. Oh, cat saving, saving. Alright, 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 alright. No! The game. Let me know if the audio is good. Or too loud or too quiet. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. Those are some nice wheels. Be a shame if someone popped the tires with their strong front teeth. Where every man can own his own home. And have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. Yes. Quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The man is the breadwinner. 
The woman must respect the man. The city of opportunists. City of dreams. Where the magic happens. The city of dreams. What? That's what I said! The thoughts and desires of the entire planet. I've not played this before. Oh. Hollywood land. Why did they chop off the land from Hollywood? They run out of space? That's the the Chinese the theater, isn't theaters. it? I'm the protagonist. City of undercurrents. We're not everything is as it seems. Nobody knows what's going on under the shadows. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. <laughs> a city that has yeah, the no facial body. animation really Don't holds up. As far as the eye can see. Wait, is that like the the Bass Pro Shop? I want to get some fishing gear. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. Oh. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're yeah. on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. Mm. It'll you eat never you know alive. the guy you're talking to is on the pad. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch on the command. pad? So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. We're on the case. The detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam. Shooting, huh? Typical. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Oh, oh, oh I can drive. <laughs> Here, <laughs> they, don't, they don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless they're straight. Keep it straight. It's so goddamn hard about that. These roads are filled with shadows. Wherever you look, can't see quite clearly. From the beam of sunshine itself. <laughs> can't tell if the light's red or green. All I know in my heart of hearts is the city has a darkness within it. A darkness that, if you stare at it too long, it'll swallow you whole. What are you doing to this car? One of these days, I'll bend you. Where am I going the right way? Oh, I have to go to the flag! If you use the siren, maybe those metal things in front of you called cars will know you're- The siren? Car. How do I- Oh, you can Goodbye, switch the sorry. camera angle. Siren. It's the next right. Oh, this right? <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> <laughs> it was that day I realized these roads are too small. Too small for my large ambitions. These people, too small minded. They don't even know what's going on underneath the surface. <laughs> You're gonna wreck the car! <laughs> My partner got out of the car. He couldn't look at me anymore, because he knew the truth. He knows where I stand. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to walk there. I need to exercise anyway. I've been putting on the pounds lately, my wife's been feeding me good. Every night I go home, she makes me a green bean casserole. She smiles at me, so warm like. I can't tell her the horrors that I've faced day in and day out. While I'm out there protecting this city, protecting her. Oh, this shoe's got no soul. My feet hurt, I wanna go home. I have a driver's license! I'm actually a really good driver! Wait. Throw it, don't throw it. 
you look at this I'm about to take out the trash. Oh. Is my car gone forever? Oh. I walk alone. How far away am I from the place? to get to where they need to be and they get there and they're just like out of breath like <sighs> seems like the p <sighs> fuck the perp <sighs> is <sighs> he left on he fled on foot <sighs> I don't see any trace <sighs> of him <sighs> fuck hold on Floyd Rose homicide <sighs> back up yes sir yes sir we had a shooting took place down this alleyway we'll get him boys we Vic Scooter Payton a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. You Witness can't say that! A white guy, our shooter, put you two can't in the big head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. Hurry bag it and bag it, it. in style. Please. Happy hunting. All right, let's not stand here with our thumb up the bums. Just going through the motions. Yeah. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. Raz my right, berries, why I'm don't you? Way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Wait a minute. Two heads are always better than one. Also, the controller vibrates when you're close to a clue. Shrink says... The mind is the final frontier. Frontier psychologist. Look at this junk. Oh. I doubt it. Bet you can make a little ship inside of this bottle and it'll look pretty cool. It's not my job to oh, pick so through other people's trash. Again. I just wanted to touch it again. <laughs> you're like going around looking at clues and your partner's like, Timmy, put that down. That has germs. You don't know where that's been. How do I... <laughs> no, mom, I want to take it home. We can wash it off in the sink. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Put me on the bigger oh, cases. Install heat. Come on, God. My god. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. Someone spilled ink all over this door. It's not invisible ink either. We have bottles at home. I know we do. Put up against the wall and blew his brain Mommy's got all kinds of bottles. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Did I hear a cat? It's visible ink. Press to open the notebook. Okay. Clues. Blood stain. Blood splatter stains in recessed doorway on alleyway floor. Looks like there were signs of a struggle. Hmm. Should I just... Can you open this door? Mm. There's also some on the floor here. Whoever this was, they had a lot of blood inside of them. Now it's not quite in there anymore. Wanna go dumpster diving? Sorry, I think my mom needs this message. Me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Could this be Ralph, the weapon? Something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? It looks like some kind of gun. Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. Maybe it's just a All sticker. Right. Don't hurt yourself. Oh. Find a ladder. All right. This is going to be the hardest part. Oh. So you know me. Up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. 
this guy's gonna be badgering me for the next like 10 minutes saying like Yeah, it's on the roof. You know how to get up there, right? You need to find a ladder to get up on the roof. What uh, kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? <laughs> find that ladder yet? Uh Oh. What if I What if I go up the stairs and then grab onto this wire and then uncharted style go like zip line down it and drop off there? Are looking for a hot air balloon? Do they have those in the 1950s? They probably had them, but the balloon part was made out of like pig bladder. Dun dun dun. <laughs> it's just like inserted. Instead of finding lost treasure, we're finding dead bodies. Okay, it's in here. Building looks vacant. I don't want to wait around all night for the super to let us in. Mm. Is there a way up from the outside? From the outside? The fire escape. I think what I heard before, that sounded like a cat. Move toward a drain pipe to climb it. Okay. Oh, this guy is... It's pretty athletic for a policeman. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? I found some kind of spinning creature. It looks a bit like a mollusk. Uh I don't even want to think about what that's about. Yeah? In In here? In In the, in the... Did they put corn syrup in everything in the 1950s? I feel like every meal in the 1950s was like something made out of jello with meat inside of it. I'm blind, I know! Near the street side. I am actually blind. You have to like be patient with me because my mind is occupied by 10 different things right now. I'm not even like here mentally. I'm simply not... Oh, there's a gun. Two guns? How come you got to use two guns? Stop looking at tab for five seconds, but... But I like it. I want to see what everybody be saying. Smith & Wesson. Serial S71893. Oh, that's a nice gun. Smith & Wesson. Classic. Wow. Two it's a loaded five. chamber. Chamber. Instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Oh. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Mm, I smell something funky. Something a little bit nasty. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take Wait. it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Am I stupid? Show some initiative, Ralph. And see if we Don't answer that. Home. I know That's I am. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. I'm at the gun store. What do we want? We got guns. We got... Shooty Are you sure about things. This? It's not really Wait! No I am stupid. Things. I was like... Didn't seem to give much of a damn. That was a reflection of a gun on the window! I thought like the gun was like thrown up there on the window, like just sitting there. Ladies across the road. I day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Detective moment. You don't understand my deduction skills. Have you ever heard of uh inverse deductive reasoning? You have to work your way down through, like, the wrong answer to find the right one. It's reductive reasoning. Oh, my car got fixed! Nice! I'll be careful this time. I may be a rookie, but... 
I got street smarts. Gun store. 367 South Central Avenue. Okay, my destination is approaching. Make a right turn on Mateo Avenue. God, the music is so nice! Something funky is afoot. Something... a little bit screwy. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel something in the air. Something's not right. I gotta tr go with my gut, trust my detective instincts. Jesus. Shit. <sighs> when is the boss gonna trust me to get put on the real cases? I'm tired of doing this lackey work. God damn it. Jesus! I know what I'm doing. Oh, here's the gun store! I know what I'm doing. He just thinks I'm some rookie. Some greenhorn. He thinks I'm just some kid. But he doesn't understand. I have what it takes. There's a shooting gallery? Gun store, 10.59pm. Weather. Clear skies. Slightly dry. Need my chapstick. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Pearl grips? Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special. Can it stop a hippo? Because Here's hippos are like an order book. way scarier you than rhinos. You're my guest. This is about something bad, right? You don't want to fuck with a hippopotamus. Where there is. Model 27 with pearl Let's grips. Let's see. Cole. You see it on there? 27 pearl grips. Checkered walnut drip grip. Grip grip and sip. 27 pearl grips, 4 inch barrel, polished nickel, date of order, February 4th, 1946. That's the serial number, I remember. Ordered by a... Er Errol Schroeder, Schroeder, Schroeder. We're in Schroeder. 203 South Gless Street, ordered the gun in February 46. Mm. That bastard. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. You got the pearl drip. I'm a police officer. That means I can have guns for free, right? So I can have any gun I want. Good day to you, sir. Do I get free guns. In? Let's see if he's at home. I feel like a kid Only in a candy store. The trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Gunga? <laughs> Gunga Ginga! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go to this bastard's apartment. If he's home, he's gonna have a rude awakening. 203 South Gless Street. <laughs> that sleep street's gonna sleep soundly tonight. If my name isn't... Uh... Dun... Dunder Mifflin. Gunga Ginga! Gunga Ginga! Gunga Ginga! I'm stalking and praying in the night. Like a cougar. No, it wasn't so hard, was it? Screeching. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. Gungaga. Gunga Ginga. Gungaga. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal master. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. A lot of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps. He's gonna have to show you why they call him the Gunga Ginga. I got the Gunga. You got the Ginga. You better start running. 
This town is infected with the virus. It's rotten to the core. I hate this town. I hate this town, but I have to protect it. To do everything in my power to make sure it's safe. Schroeder, I'm coming for you. You think you can just leave town just like that? Wait, is that the... This thing is called the L.A. River, right? It's really strange to call something like that a river. It kind of just looks like... ...a sewage system, like, exposed to the air. The L.A. Noir River. I'm learning so much! It's a canal. It's like a... Concrete ditch with like two feet, not even two feet. It looks like you could just like stand in that water. Like less than a foot of water in it. Yeah, that's that river from GTA 5. <laughs> chugga chugga. Here comes the train. There's no brakes where we're going. Justice. Doesn't stop for anyone. Justice never sleeps. I hope you're sleeping tight tonight, Schroeder. I hope you have your little nightcap on, your little footy pajamas, and your little corn cob pipe. I bet you're turning in tonight, going. Thinking that you got away with shooting a man in cold blood. Well, you'd be wrong. Once I come knocking on your door, I know you're gonna feel that cold sweat and feel that chill up your spine. You'll know that you won't get away with it. Wait, I think I have to go up on this highway up here. Alright, hold on. I'm like a train. I'm single-minded. I'm on the track. Solve this crime. I'm blowing my horn. And when you hear that horn, you know your time is up. Jig is up, perp. Okay, we're on the right... We're on the right path now. Now it's just a matter of... Staying on the road... And not going anywhere else. Oh... Did they...? This is a really dumb question. I know there's no stupid questions, but this is actually a really dumb question. Did they plant a bunch of palm trees in... California? <laughs> like, Los Angeles? Or were they just there, to begin with? Yes? Yes and no? Cause I feel like... Planted for sure. When did they start planting all them? How did they decide like... Let's just plant a fuck ton of palm trees here. Can you jump in this game? <laughs> Something... Smells a little funny. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Blended for the funky fresh style. He's only a rider, so it does look kind of nice. So they're not native to the area? They just like planted a ton of them? It is like... Very much a desert. And palm trees are tropical. Different biomes. California has like... It's so big, it just spans... Spans multiple different types of like climates and biomes. You go up north and there's like a mushroom biome. You can milk a cow and get mushrooms. Oh, that was cool. Did you hear that? Well, You didn't hear that, did you? I feel like Bill Gates right now. I think Bill Gates is a silly, stupid little bitch because he thinks he's so impressive that he can just like jump over a computer chair in one swoop like that. 
That's fucking nothing. He thinks he's so cool because he can do that. You can see like the satisfied looking grin on his face after he does it. I'm glad he's dead. Oh, his apartment's on the other side. Sorry. I think. <laughs> Cafe bar. You guys didn't know that he died? He's been dead for like five years. It just goes to show you that Apple beats out Microsoft every time. Good thing Steve Jobs is still out there. This cute little turtleneck. <laughs> oh, Susie, you are so bad. <laughs> and they were roommates! Oh my god, I love this kind of fashion! Oh, she's got like a little... little penguin tail sticking out. On the back of her jacket. While she's admiring some... Chamberlains. Gentleman's shoes. Maybe she's looking for something for her hobby. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> what was that noise? <gasps> Just keeping the peace. No, I'm doing my job. Keeping the peace. Keeping the streets safe for everybody. The city. People don't know what goes on in the, the undercurrent. What goes on in the shadows. Just doing my job. <laughs> don't have to thank me. Uh... How do I... Get into this... Loser's apartment again? <laughs> Is it through here? Oh... Of course. I'm very directionally challenged, even when there's like a literal dot on a map that says go here. I don't know where the dot is! Geographically... I hear a clue. There's like... Broken shit everywhere. Signs of a struggle? Don't know. Schroeder, number two. Schroeder, apartment two. Hmm. That bastard. Living in the, the second apartment, huh? Bet you think you're living the high life. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Are you then jealous? you'll be surprised to know that Scooter <laughs> Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. Scooter! Get out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Oh, someone took it out of his drawer and made him run for it. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cup him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. We're taking you back to the station. Oh, shh. Guy? Yeah? Huh? Size me up? Oh fuck! Prancing around and hit me. My Prancing around, twinkle toes. I'll knock your fucking block off. You got a chip on your shoulder, huh? Was it you? Did you find this fucking elevator? Huh? Did you press all the buttons? I'm gonna give you a noogie. Ralph, you all right? I'm gonna I'm pinch fine. your little really elbow flap. He's lucky he caught me a little guard. piece of skin. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Yeah, you like the way the floor smells? You better get used to it. I'm gonna be there for a while because... I don't know how to play video games very well and it's gonna take me a long time to find out where everything is. <laughs> he hit my head off of my head! That's so rude. Hmm, what's this? Could it be some kind of... 
passport? Oh, it's a notebook. Artie Rosemary, 9446 S. Does that say SO or 50? Are these numbers? 20, 40, 40, 35, 20, 20. Frank Greer. Kaplan, Jeff Kaplan. I'll be. Dippy doll. Oh! List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose. His name is Floyd in there. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it I in. You wouldn't want to do that. It'd leave swell the book up. Where you found it. Nice and big. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. The thing would end up looking like a baby's arm. Oh, oh. Forget about it. Wait, this isn't even New York. Did they even talk like that in California in the 1950s? Oh. Looks kind of shifty, I don't know. I don't like the look of this guy. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Such Excuse me, back. Sergeant. But Excuse me. Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask oh. for your help. Can you believe he this? Need someone to rub his tummy. You two, Abbott and Costello. <laughs> yes, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Kelso. Merrill looks like a spring OCS. chicken. OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. This bus is the bang bus. Don't get on that one. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop. Which one is the Venga bus? You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. This bus Solve the cases, battle bus. Right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope? Or a Greyhound ticket to Belugaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. Oh. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. Shots fired. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the two. All right, we're hot in the trail. That 14 Adam, be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. I will drive carefully. 14 Adam on route. Oh, the siren is on! Woo! Oh, nice! I see what you mean now by the black and white being a little harder. I swear, I know I'm dumb and I'm like... very unobservant when it comes to stuff in video games, but stuff blends in the background a lot more. It's kind of interesting though. Whoa! Get down! Some live gunfire going on. <gasps> Wait! I have to shoot? Suspect. I got one of them. Wait, is shooting with a- Did he just crawl around like a dog? Come, come out! Weapons, come on. on! Come on! I wanna try something! Come on! Oh, I see him. Forward. Here, just let me... <laughs> He's like, peek a peek Stay down. All right. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. I, I didn't mean to drop my gun. <laughs> slow. I didn't mean to drop my gun. This one's better. All right. I'm getting hammered here, Phelps. What? LSD. On the job? Put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a chance to... The jig is up. 
Eat wood. Pussy. Wait, come on. Uh. Oh shit. Uh. I'm covered, I'm covered. Oh shit, I got him in his abdomen. Uh. Ow, my shoulder. Shooting with controller sucks ass. Get out of the bank, asshole! People's money is in here! It's not yours! Oh, fuck. Whoa! That's it? That was we a nice splatter. All? I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. We are well in there. <laughs> I, I had to make that. sure, okay? Man couldn't ask for a better partner. It was a, a victory shot. Yeah, yeah, I had to stretch out my finger a little more. I got a finger cramp. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive Firmly first. Grasp it. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war... I killed a civilian at the last table? Or collateral the damage. Finest, single -handed? They knew what they were in for. I've seen the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys uh, who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Yeah, Our duty is like to try leave, hard. Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? People had really long zippers back then. Did you ever notice that? <laughs> Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With like, I know the pants go up really far, but the zipper. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss Facial religion or politics. Facial animation is so lifelike, it's case, honestly creeping me out. That. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Ooh. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. He's on the Wendell run. Bowers, stop! LSPD! You can control yourself. Get back here! Why you? Watch it! Come on! I just want to... I want to try something. Go on, slow down. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, it'd be a shame if he threw some, like, marbles behind him or a banana peel. Powers, hold it right there. Oh. Stop, now, Stop running you away. You're a bad man. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, son. You will face fire. justice. You don't want to do this, Wendell. <laughs> Once I get up this ladder, it's over get for you. Right now. Give it up, Wendell. Oh no, he's going up the drain pipe. You know I'm an expert at that. Oh, what the fuck? You've got to be kidding. You fucking asked for it. I got a super on my forehead now. No way I'm going back inside. Oh, parkour. Oh. I've done my time. Will you get back here? It's over, Bowers. Man's time is never my done. Already screwed me once. Time waits for no one. Oh. Give it up, Bowers! The Bow door bit. Watch the face. Yeah. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Oh. He's okay. Nice work, Cole. That was a soft portion of the nice concrete. Hole. They like just poured it. It hadn't like fully dried yet. He, he's okay. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an Wait, officer can in the you, Marine Corps is the can ability you defeat to defeat him without pushing decisions. him off a building. The right decision is not always the popular one. 
the right decision will get the men you care about killed. There's one less These criminal on the streets, and, your and that's ability all I care to about. Frankly and truthfully, directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe. In Rockstar Franklin, Games, seven. do they like Merrill, six. reuse Kowalski, names as like six. an Easter egg? Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Or is that Kelso, just me? 1. Because there's like Canada, a Kelso. Kowalski and Bully, too. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! The oh. common last name Kowalski? Is it? For every cop... I don't know. There's a case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. I wanna be a star. The case star. that you solve that shows that you have the gumption. The gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from our average rank and file patrolman. I got the calmness. It's <gasps> just laying there, LAPD. bleeding in the daylight. Can you stand clear of the body, please. Has anyone called an ambulance? <laughs> the guy in the background was looking at it like, <laughs> "Ooh, dead body." <laughs> Okay, stand further back and move <laughs> Don't see that every day. But make it quick, this one's people. a fresh one. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. Your first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you really can find out eyes. The dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right. I swear. Everybody stay back. Let you us have to be respectful. <laughs> I have to do this every time I investigate a dead body at a crime scene. I have to step over it like this ten times for good luck. Broad it's just day, like right? a police thing, Broad like a street. superstition. Now I've seen everything. Wow, this guy's fucked up. I'm gonna put my finger up his nose. Oh, got some nice cheeks. Good bone structure. Bullet one. Got one on the abdomen, and one on the, the other abdomen, and one next to the, the heart. Wow. I'm just gonna rub his tummy a little bit. Where is his wallet? For his identification. Wait, wait, get in there. Can I like s shove my finger into the bullet hole? Oh. Mm. All right, Nothing all right. Arm. Yes, it's a dead person. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks real. Wait, can I get in? Oh, get in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bank of America. Arcadia. Mm. Pearl earrings. Was he paying? Did he take out a loan for earrings? C. Galetta. Lay away. Lay away. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. People do lay away? Oh my god, did you hear that? 52 smackerinos. Looks like he cast a check that doesn't bounce or whatever the fuck that means. Looks like this guy's goose is cooked. Oh, That's like a million dollars today? Well, nothing on this arm. Hmm. Can I go down to his legs? There's nothing here. 
I am hungry. How loud was that? Wait, no, 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 go! I think he may be dead. I don't know. I have to make sure. How do I... Get don't out. Don't you people have anything better to do? Oh, I have to search the area. You should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. What happened to you? Can I, can I help you, sir? Wait, 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 who are you? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you oh. are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. I don't know, it's kind of suspicious. Was that a sketch of her? <laughs> That's not very flattering. Age 27. Sex F. A shoe store clerk. That's a shame what happened to your boss. Shooting. Wait, wait, voucher. Received for pearl earrings made out on Bank of Arcadia to see Gayeta. Wait! That isn't everything! You haven't got it all! Why are you yelling? I'm sorry, someone's dead, but... You're making me really... I have anxiety! Wait! That isn't everything! You haven't got it all! <laughs> Look at the way... Like, her face... Wait... Wait! That isn't everything! You haven't got it all! <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll be more thorough. I need more evidence. Does this guy have more evidence on him? Can I take off his shoes? Wait! Use L to make questions. Okay. L? Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We must have been when hungry. Back, I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Why didn't you take the bullet for him? If you think the witness is lying, you have proof to like lie. She looks like she's lying. I don't know. She looks kind of nervous. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. Tell me. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. She's getting so defensive. You prove different. Wait, wait, Valtry. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? Pearl earrings, you pearl grips. Freedom, you little fool. If you don't stop you the murder fool. investigation. <laughs> Mr. Kalu. <laughs> You want to go to jail, you little fool? You little imbecile? He runs the jewelry store. You ignoramus? He's showing me a lovely watch. You bitch. <laughs> Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry. You Mr. fucking Gage, baka. They start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at oh, me to get terrible. back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. And another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Mm. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course yeah, I did. Yeah, he still says Galetta, even though she said Galetta. very angry. He He's a police officer. Gun. He doesn't have to he pronounce your name, right? Trigger. 
He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Oh. Uh, I don't think she's lying about that. Or maybe... Should I... I don't know. She's making the face she made before. I'm doubting. You're angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? <laughs> You're making Tell me a hot Mr. little Collins potato right now. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates you. You're really Jews. steaming me. What? Do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. <laughs> I love how she just casually says, a lot of people do. <laughs> how many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's, it's no big deal. Remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Uh, is she telling the truth? Man, this girl's a little stinker. I don't know. Well, I guess when she starts crying, she was crying, and it seemed genuine. Become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. That's very specific. Five. It'd be hard to lie about something like that. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened. She's crying, I trust her. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Never mind. She cares about that? Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Your boss is dead. We care about his pearl grips, pearl... Pearl drip. Man is dead. Man is dead and you're doing this song and dance. Walk your pretty little gams out of there. You think about what you did. Think you can lie to a police officer? Oh. Uh, I, I guess I'm going home. Mmm. The jewelry store. I'm player of suspect Edgar Ka Caillou. Alright, we're going to the jewelry store. Keep LA safe, drive safely. I agree. I'm trying to keep these streets clean! I'm going the wrong way, shit! Hold on. I'm gonna do a U-turn, a little Yui. Yui! Oh. Watch out for the civilians! I am on the job here. I have the right of way. I don't need to drive well as a police officer. People see me coming and they get out of the way because they know that I'm. Oh shit. Someone. Serve and protect. I'm just doing my job. Can I steal a car? We're, we're close. We're close. We're on 7th Street and it was on... The street... Probably the next street over. Well, what movies they got going on right now? The lady from Shanghai. WB! What? Gay Cowboys. Night Train Fight Game. The Stairwell. <laughs> Born years, revenge, jungle drums. I kind of want to go see gay cowboys. I want to go see the pictures. The big screen. City of dreams. Oh. Oh. Now's not the time for window shopping. I have a crime to solve. I am the car. He's only a rider, so he can't really help. I don't need wheels. Drugs! I'll have to visit that place later. It's 
make sure that there's nothing untoward going on in there. Almost there, almost there. It's on Broadway. Are you drunk, mister? <laughs> Could a drunk man run this fast? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. 1.50 p.m. We pay cash for your own jewelry. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, you need no. a watch. Uh, Mr. Kalu yourself. is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. God, the faces are so real. Son of a bitch. What? Go, Cole, go. What? This motherfucker. I saw him. He went through that door. Ah! Who put those boxes there? Suspect is fleeing. Get back here. He's entered another building. He's in some kind of diner. Ah! Oh no! Don't go across the street. Come on. At least look both ways. Ah. Wait. I'm sorry, I saw that I had a gun and I really wanted to steal it. Officer Cole Phelps, <laughs> are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. I'm a police officer, down. okay? I'll buzz him for you. I'm doing my job. I'm protecting and serving. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! It's part of the code. He's getting away! Alright, alright, alright. Hello, I'm less trigger here. happy now. I got it out of my system. What was I supposed to do? He was running away from me. Dude. <laughs> Fucking suspect. Run away, pussy. I'm gonna tackle him. I play college ball. Look out. Oh no, I can't get close enough. I have to wait for him to stumble a little. Whoa. What if I fire a warning shot? Ooh, that'll spook him. Don't make it worse, Kalu. Why are you running? <laughs> Man, I could run for miles and miles. Oh, oh shit! Here we go. Uh, uh. Now this is awkward. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, just pretend that didn't happen and let me handcuff you. Uh, you stay here out then? The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. This case. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins you. bleed me dry. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens. Case to think about in the shower. Half truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear oh, that really makes me want to have a piece of bread. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Oh. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with me? us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've been, th I've been a really good police officer. Or sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Mm. I'm cleaning well, up I'm these curious streets. as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Mm -hmm. Takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Yeah, I have animal Do instincts. You think you might be ready for if that? If I was an animal, I'd be like a, a yes, lion. Yes, sir. I think I am. Prowling in the tall good grass. Man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, Feel the call of the wild. evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. I'm really good at reading people. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Uh, the cat 
Don't fail By the me. devil? Ah, oh, smoking a coffee. Has my arrived yet? I want to see that my sounds lawyer. so nice. A lawyer can't help you, I mean, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. sounds really blood. bad for you. You're going to have to pay for that. Argument. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was Six a bastard. Six hot loads. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Fair. He's kind of squirming a little and... I don't know, he looks kind of nervous. <laughs> you shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh yeah, I have this layaway voucher. Uh... Possible religious motive. Because of the Jewish thing? That's terrible! Uh... You got nothing, boy chick. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. <laughs> I just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around oh! in circles. We're done. Oh no! Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! <laughs> I need a confession! My lumps! I can go back in? Okay, one more time. <laughs> this is awkward. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see Count on lawyer. me, I'm going to make your lumps. Lawyer can't help you, Mr. Nice and puffed up. The yeast will rise. Cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay. You followed Everett Gage and the girl. Five the rounds. Store. You put five, five hot rounds, rounds in his back. back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, dude. You liar. Uh, Twenty-eight stab wounds. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Can we like torture him to get the truth out. Okay. The shooting. Uh. Austin. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is gonna stand up? Yeah, she'll cry. Going to the gas chamber, Edgar. <laughs> that you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. It was a different time. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. <laughs> it's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. How Kalu? How do you feel about Christmas, what you about? Mr. Kalu? Uh, should I doubt him? You okay. left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher? You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Edgar. different Gage. time. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Is this what Goro is like when he speaks? Yeah, that's why he doesn't have a voice. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have he, a He's from a different time, too, so... The department needs heroes. A shining he, he doesn't even know what the words mean, you know? He, he just, like... He's watched a lot of bad movies. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Don't call me Boyle. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing.
I disappointed him, but then I, I made it up to him. So it's probably okay, right? I passed! <gasps> Peak physical conditioning? Service weapon proficiency? I am good at being a detective. I'm a good little detective. I'm gonna get a pat on the back. They're gonna send me a fruit basket for a job well done. Yeah, this game takes place in the 1940s, but let's not transport our chat back to the 1940s. Here's Unless you want to be in. like... You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted hey, here. Hey, uh, I'll map. knock your block off. <laughs> That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that Don't, goes don't make me silence you like I had to do it to Goro. The I can't take him anywhere in public. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation. Mm, that's a nice Maybe jacket. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change mm, like a lizard. Than dope fiends. I Who like sunlight, Roy too. Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole I like to just like lay in front of a window and absorb the rays. What is that supposed to mean? Feels really good. Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. <gasps> and now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division. Welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Time for a teachable moment. Some of you moment. guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry hey, store. Hey, what's happening? Stand up. This and is the bee's knees. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Why don't you guys make like an egg and uh, beat it? Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really You're gave a real those mover and shaker, huh? Hey, Phelps. Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, I've Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. So start many you Polish people case. in this game. You okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Trollman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Am I okay Come with on, that? <laughs> Why does he ask me if I'm okay with <laughs> Polish people? <laughs> You're wasting time. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel <laughs> about them. Quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five oh. minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any Does that favors. look like Angelina Jolie? You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. I recognize that guy from the papers. He's a cop. My mother and my mother. But I gotta make it the car in the end. Usually like... The nerve of some people. The humor... And like world building in Rockstar games can kind of like. Maybe it's because I'm just like a fucking won't. grumpy so, bitch. But like, I like Grand Theft Auto V a lot. I think the story mode was really fun, but some of the like. Just like the humor in it annoyed me because it was just like so like overly cynical and shitty for no reason. This isn't my car, is it? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas horse and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. But the, in this one, it seems pretty... I like it, like... It's really good at, like, keeping the tone and the, the setting. Are we... Oh, this is a really nice car. It's a Buick. Oh, I 
it's a Buick. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. It's a Are Sony. We... Slow down. No. We have to hurry. Are we friends now, Lukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Oh. Grew up in San Francisco. They're warming up to each other. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. You do that for me? Easier said than done, buddy. The sound of metal striking against Grew each other. San Francisco, and broken glass falling all over the pavement is too hypnotizing to me. Before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45. Now look what you've done! <laughs> Yeah, Okinawa, that's a nice place. His mother would be so proud of him catching all those turkeys. Uh we can walk. <laughs> I'm just doing my duty. My civic duty. He's dull as dishwater. You always have to keep people on their toes. Protect and save. You're watching the racism? This is the 1940s. Maybe this is good for me. It's like keeping my cardio up in case there's another chase sequence. Ooh. The king of cola lives over there. What if we took. The bus? Wait... Is this a bus or... What are these things called? Cable cars? A tram? A tram or a trolley? Streetcar? I've never like lived in anywhere where those are like in use. You look at this clown? Wait, clown where? Is he funny? Is he gonna throw a pie? How... How far away is this place? At least I can enjoy some of the scenery on my way there. God, everything is so surprisingly detailed. I'm such a bad girl. Susie, you're a bad little bitch. But she played backseat bingo with little Freddy the other weekend at the drive-in. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the races on Saturday. They're gonna watch the races. Do they mean like horse races? What did people do for fun in the 1940s, aside from, like... Committing and solving crime... Watching movies... Drinking alcohol... Gambling... Racism... I'm gonna get good I don't think people Friday. jerked off back then. Everything was in black and white. Oh, I made it! That you, Bukowski? Go on through. I'm Park pretty sure, yeah, it was illegal to jerk off. That's part of this guy's duties. I need to get As back to work. Police officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what it you told them. me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Oh, this guy is so Thanks nice to, to me. You're okay. He is okay. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's... 
He's being very forgiving. I need that right now. He feels like the comforting embrace of a mother holding me to his bosom. I'm Officer Hart. Belts. Traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? I have car? no idea what he just said. The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, <gasps> we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Oh, no. Restless how? Like, road, impatient? I have ADHD. Oh, my God. Good Lord. How's the world looking? What? What oh, happened in here? How about you? Ah. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical joker says it's victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Yeah. <gasps> Did a train hit him in there? Oh, is this Wilkins? Or uh hello sir. Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood. There's course lots of blood inside of the car. In a very bad way. And it's really scaly. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. A trunk? What's in the trunk? <gasps> a crowbar. Wait, could that much blood come out? No, this can't be the murder weapon. Doesn't appear to be connected. No. Yeah, usually pipes are connected to the toilet. Wait, what is this? Live Mr. hog. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Oh. I heard he was pretty lonely. I think that's all. Is that pig's blood in there? I think I've seen it all. Wait, let me talk to you. Check the whole area, detective. Assume everything's a potential lead. Everything? Oh god, my nose is really bad. Oh. Is there anything in here I can touch with my little fingers? Everything. Well? Wait, what's this over, over here? Another notebook? Oh, what the? Your times, I guess. <laughs> what? Yeah, they look really happy. It's like Drew Carey and like someone doing the Derma sus face. Oh, Adrian. Is that Adrian and his wife? Oh. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. Oh. What is he doing out here? The average guy is made by 32. Oh no. That's his wife. I hope nothing happened to her. Ooh, nice glasses. Wait. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired. Home repaired by the look of it. Oh. Oh, there's more over here. Wait, another section of the pipe. And there's blood on it. Oh. The brand name might give us something to go on. I remember that brand name. I saw that on the side of a truck. Just here. Gotta be something big, right? Hmm. Hey, 
Flatfoot. You're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> Why am I being heckled? I'm doing my best. Take your time. No freight rolling. That was my controller. Time. And we're still punching the clock. Get your head out of the gutter. Don't make me take you into the interrogation room and start crying immediately because I don't know what to do. You won't like it. I know how to play good cop, bad cop. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw so it just sitting there. Strange place to be. I would get so cop. stressed out during the interrogation, I would just end up being like, you know what, you're right. I, I did it. Work. It was me. I'm sorry. So I call and I just turned myself in just to get out of the interrogation. Because I'm too fucking nervous. Bloodstained pipe. Knowledge of Adrian Black. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. The pipe came out of the car. Uh, that's the truth, isn't it? He looks like he's pretty calm. When you saw the blood, was it wet? Wait, did I get that wrong? Or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. I'm glad, I'm glad. Okay. Mmm. He's doing that, like, smile where you, like, tuck your lips in. The kind of face you make where you're, like, walking the hallway at school and you, like, see someone you recognize and you just go, like... Like that. You know, my nephew joined the police. And he's a little slow, too. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? <laughs> you accusing me of something, mister? No, 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 please don't get mad. He's telling... he's telling the truth, isn't he? He seems really, like, calm and collected, and he's, like, maintaining eye contact. Wait, no, now he's, like, he's doing something weird with his eyebrows. Okay, I'll... I'll doubt him. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down? I... I know how to... Pockets, Mr. Wilkie. ...understand Maybe human I'll emotions? Maybe i that wallet. Not that Definitely I was not really gullible and naive. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Knowledge of Adrian Black? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Uh... I think he's telling the truth. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regular, so it kind of stood out. Whoa! <laughs> He's like... Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? His body gyrated well, intensely the last second I was night. on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. Okay, that's the face he makes when he's telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. I actually wanted to go into Take forensic science. Help, we'll contact your employer if we need anything when more. When I was like 19? If you have to, I guess. I can't really what? spend no more time over this. I ended up deciding... Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done There's no way I'm mentally capable of that. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Oh. All right, back to the vehicle. It's nice of them to repair my car for me and deliver it. I don't want to make my partner drive. Why is it suggesting that? Is it trying to tell me something? Okay, Adrian Black. Ooh, this song is my jam. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. 
All right, I'm so, on it. What do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. All units of 459 What's a stiff? Wait. Handle, two, identify. Suspect. Wait, wait. I'll do a U-turn. That wasn't a U-turn. It was more like a... I turn. Me turn. You turn. You turn. I turn. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Oh. <gasps> ah! oh no, I don't like it when they start shooting. That's my least favorite part of being a police officer. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Wait, the if they're away. shooting at me, does that mean I can shoot them? I know how to be a police officer. Suspect is fleeing on foot down Sir Savnil. Swiss. You can still catch him. I'll get him, I'll get him! Out of my way! There's a very bad man on the list. Is somebody gonna tell I'm gonna have to wrestle him down to the ground. Tickle his little tummy. Can I shoot him? And leg? I mean, I guess I'll try. Wait! <gasps> oh no! Come on, Flatfoot. Oh wait, I thought it was like a a cute girl or something. Now I'm just like Put the weapon down now. Oh, incapacitate the oh. on your own goddamn head, be it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking hostages. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Alright. Now I know you can shoot him. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Up on the roof, officer. He has I a used my deductive space. reasoning. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. I was weighing my options, okay? I decided in that moment... The hostage has a go till. Oh, oh sheesh! Make it easy on yourself! Get the hell away from me! I'm a fireman! Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way! Hurry, I'm about to fire out. live rounds! Into this man's kneecaps! You trust me as a cop? I'm glad that you have confidence in me. Son of a bitch! I'll take you all down with me! Ah! Got him! <laughs> I hope those legs are insured. Wait, is he? Uh, it did. Take a hostage anyway and be like, Oh, look at me, I have a hostage, I'm gonna shoot him. You don't want anything bad to happen to this hostage, right? I would have to shoot him and kill him anyway, so it's okay. I know how criminals are. 
the street can sleep safely tonight. Oh. My, My partner? Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, where's my partner? That's no way to drive. God damn it! Oh shit, I feel like I left my kid at the store. <laughs> this is what they call a California stop. Not now! Oh. City of Los Angeles, you're in good hands. I will cradle you like a newborn. You will suckle upon my teeth. The milk of justice. It flows cruelly. Cruelly. Is my partner? Oh. Get over here! Come on! Ah, uh, call shotgun. Ha ha ha. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Maybe okay, okay, okay. somewhere lonely and give him a tap. Respond to a dispatch call? Let's go! Wait, so. There's just like random events every so often that you can just choose to go off and do whenever you want? How so, genius? Side quest! Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. Yeah. Got something there, folks. Doesn't add up. Something smells funny. God, this is really far away. Oh. You read about the guy. In. Jeez. Sorry about how I went to Victoria's Secret and I was like, I hadn't been to one in a long time. So, I didn't know what the protocol was. So, I just like, I went up to the front door and there was like a greeter lady and she's like, What are you here for? Like, she was interrogating me. And I was like, Uh, I was just stuff. What's the latest thing? And I got like really nervous and sweaty while I was in there because I felt like, am I supposed to be in here? It's like a store with a bunch of like underwear and like lady garments everywhere. It just felt wrong. And then I have like sweat dripping from my hands, placing like several different underwears into my hand, my clenched fist. And the lady comes up to me and asks, Would you like an underwear bag? With those? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? I felt so ashamed. Well, you don't but then I redeemed myself. Recently, I went back. I walked in there with my head held high, my chest puffed out. And the same lady came up and asked me, Do you want an underwear bag? I turned to her and I winked. And I said, Don't mind if I do. What the fuck? I am a woman, but Victoria's Secret is like. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Calm down, sir. 
You liked that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I feel like I'm like a centimeter away but from becoming this man. At any given oh, moment. Oh no, he's fast! Come on, sir, you have to take your meds. He's a real pot hat. You. He's causing quite the ruckus. Uh, yeah, I should have said no thank you. I'll just wear it. <laughs> Dude! What? <laughs> Please, the government is trying to contact you through radio, radio waves. You must heed their message. Zero zero one one zero one one zero 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 one one. Farewell, cruel world. You hate me that much? Well, protect and save. Hmm. Another good day on the job. Another case solved. Everyone can sleep safer now. Wait, my rank increased! I got one intuition point! How did I get an intuition point from seeing I'm a guy good. jump off of a roof? My partner! Oh no! I forgot my partner! Run, everyone. I'm sorry, driving is just too fun. I take off and I hear it go... Vroom. My partner! I'm sorry, sir. I left you at the store again. You're in the toy aisle. That you went up to someone, uh, some other woman from behind and thought it was me and called her mom, and it was really embarrassing. I feel bad. He's so nice to me, and I just keep leaving him behind and driving off. I forget that he even exists. Sorry for all the times I stepped on the back of your feet while we were in Target. I'm sorry for hiding in the clothes racks and pretending I was in the jungle and embarrassing you in front of all the other customers. Watch what you're doing! I think they had targets in the 40s. They were black and white instead of red and white. And they sold... only racist... objects. Take it easy! Like, instead of, like, you know, you go into the decoration section and it has those little paintings that say, like, Good vibes only. Live, laugh, love. They sold just that, but... <laughs> Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Oh. This is a nice house. Just a minute. Keep calm and eat pizza. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. Oh, no! I'm Mrs. Black. Uh, we can discuss this in the living room. I forgot, I have to tell a woman Mrs. that her husband is dead. How are we going to break the news to her? Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. 
The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something oh, was wrong no. when we didn't get home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Wait, she's acting really Where suspicious. About, Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try Is and that stay your calm pipe, and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. I need some insta heat. So I'm gonna light a fire under this woman. I'm gonna grill her. Wait. What vibrated? Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Oh. Well, I don't know if you clicked on the newspaper, you get like a whole cutscene. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get him out of my Do you head. see that fertility goddess statue story, in the back? It feels like it's in a box. to give you something to call right me. Right above his knee. Oh. The juice that makes you feel better. No, not Jesus. I'm the other fertility goddess. Not the crucified one. The one next to him. I want you to remember the good thing. Jesus didn't. Jesus' birthing hips weren't that impressive to me. Oh, that seems like a nice treatment. Apparently, they figured out the way, like the reason that fertility goddess statue looks the way it does, is they think that whoever made it, like it was a self portrait, and they were like looking down at themselves as they were sculpting it. You know, so that's why the proportions are so like like that, cause. If you have boobs and like a waist and the uh, hips, if you look down, like from your POV, it'll look like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the first anime figurine. Whoa. Is that a sugar packet? Or matches. I don't like matches, they kind of scare me. And I should have an address. Mm, Kavanaugh's. Oh, find the phone. Alright, lady, where's your phone? Wait. Insta hit. Hmm. This was only recently installed. Not, Not two, two days, days ago. ago. So. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yeah. I'm on to you, lady. You're in hot water. Once I find how to get outside, then you're in hot water. Wait, there's something in here! Oh! Railroad... Tickets? Tickets to Seattle and a Seattle? Found missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. What kind of slutty bozo would live in a place like that? God, why does he just look like Drew Carey? <laughs> you know what? I think this guy deserved to die. To my Adrian, lovesick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling. Nicole. This thing is more and more interesting. Nicole. Wait, he's 32? That's right, he's supposed to be 32 years old. 
and this like must be Adrian's. That's supposed to be 32? Maybe the black and white aged people more. Oh. What is this? Oxyclean. What is iron? Hmm. Probably nothing. No. Then what was vibrating? There's something in here. I guess anything vibrates. If you can look at it. This is still vibrating! Does something... Like, when you're done investigating... Will it stop vibrating or will it always vibrate? I feel like... Did I not look into this enough? Oh, I didn't look at the back. They're guaranteed for 10 years. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right, let's take a look out back. My nose is just so bad. Oh, fuck. Operator, <laughs> give me dispatch. Now. Did she? Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. That little stinker. She wouldn't put How the body inside of the water heater. Would she? That turned it into like dead body soup. Cavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Oh, I got it. It's my nose. Where's... <laughs> I got <laughs> It's too itchy. <laughs> ah, that feels good. <laughs> oh wait, if something violent happens in the game, I can cover up Goro's other eye. Like this. Don't look, buddy. You're not old enough to see that yet. Can't learn any more racist words. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go. Clues. That insta heat fly concealed message. Yeah, that's from on the back of the picture from Nicole. Hmm. Something smells yummy. Someone's cooking some beef. Wait! What is this? Some kind of dental tool? Junk. What? Are you, are you sure? I love sunflowers. Oh. Mm. No use leaving the thing half finished. There's missing pipes. I wonder why. Looks like a deal, though. That can't be right. <laughs> Bro, you, you expect me to do this? I don't know how to lay pipe. No. No? What about the straight one? Straight and narrow. This one for sure! That looks wrong. It does. Wait, it goes there! Okay. And then this one... Goes... There. And then this one... Goes... I don't think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... There. What? Nope. No. Nope. I can't be right. Wait, no, go back. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Get it out of there. It's horrible. Wait, this goes here. 
And this? No, that won't work. Well, over here? It's missing something. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer Simple to home. Simple geometry. Interesting. Where my partner? I'm gonna go talk to this woman. Let's see. Alibi. Oh, slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt. In the trunk of your husband's car for a live Maybe pig. they wanted to do a pig the fry. Was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Uh. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. Oh. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. At the Kavanaugh's bar? Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. He comes home stinking of booze and other woman's perfume. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Yeah, what's he doing there, huh? Sounds kind of fishy. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. Who's Nicole? There to tell. It's from his most recent business trip. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, a business trip, huh? Let me tell you, that pipe in the water heater, that's not the only pipe that was laid. Is she lying? You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. Your husband's a slut. Uh, location, alibi. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Yeah, I did a Can really hard puzzle, and I'm night? proud of myself. I feel like a good boy. You're not accusing me, are you? I'm a big special boy. Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course. Crocodile for tears. Adrian to come home. Oh, X. The evidence is stacking up, Mrs. Black. It all places you at the rail yard last night. I've already told you I She's was getting here mad. all night alone. Give it up. Your stack of evidence doesn't change a thing. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Wait. Adrian and Frank. Could it be? So you didn't arrange to meet him out at the rail yards? I've never been near a rail yard in my life. That's hogwash! Everyone's seen train tracks! What do you mean you've never been near one? You've at least driven next to one? The trains are cool! Wait... Wait, was she telling the truth the whole time? It's hogwash! I gotta... I gotta get the truth out of her somehow. Wait, what if she's right? What if she doesn't even know where the train is? Well, I guess we're getting out of here. <laughs> I couldn't tell! She seemed... I don't know, she seemed suspicious! And like, she lied about the water heater thing. Or maybe it was more like... I don't know. Oh, 
Let's go to Kavanaugh's. Maybe Frank will be there. Because he's always there. Like clockwork. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. Hey, Everyone seems best. suspicious to me in real life, too, so... This game is extra difficult. I don't trust nobody, and nobody trusts me. Yeah, I have trust issues. One time, my owner told me that I was gonna go somewhere really cool and fun, and they took me to the vet, and I had to get shots. You're a goddamn menace. They manhandled me! Oh, here it is. Kavanaugh's. That guy was clipping into the wall. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. I woke up and my testicles were gone. What's he doing? We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for all time's sake. Wait, is that blood on the wall? Or just... Poop poo. <laughs> you looking for someone? You want a tip? Oh, I'll everyone in... Faster next time, honey. Everyone in here looks so cool, smoking and staring off into the distance. I wonder if they all have their own, like, inner monologues. And haunted by various different types of memories. Oh. I just want to sit at a bar with a lit cigarette in my hand, looking mysterious. You know Frank Morgan? Sure, Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Boy, Boy, that's Frank Morgan? Better days. Who's asking? Are you gay? I'm sorry. Where's Cole Phelps? I'm out of myself. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? Did you hear how soft his voice oh, sounded when he said that? Yeah, I know him. Puff break. He was like, Yeah, I know him. I think about him all the time. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Is that the face of someone who's lying or someone who's like... Maybe he's a little drunk. It's... Doubt? Is he a liar or should I just doubt him? Very lying? So if someone makes that face, they're very lying? You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Mm. The concealed message doesn't really prove much about him being there. A train ticket. For the receipt for a live hog it was signed by him in the vehicle. What did he need that live hog for? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He Nicole. wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. <gasps> Wait, so he's faking his own death so he can run away and get some Seattle pussy? What? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Uh, he looks kind of uncomfortable. I don't know. Is that just his normal face? Does he just have like resting suspicious face? Sussy, Seattle, Sussy, Seattle, Sussy. I wouldn't know. <laughs> X? 
Oh, Tell excellent. Stick, Morgan. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. Give you a knuckle sandwich. Waiting for some money to come through before it blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Oh. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. It's always we apartment number two. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. Of course you do. Cops. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. You love him enough to kiss him, huh? Why don't you marry him? Should I arrest him? I want to take him in for more questioning. <laughs> <laughs> he said he loves cops. That's suspicious. Let's get over to That's like park. overcompensating. Like he's trying to be like, oh yeah, I love cops. I love following the law. I've never committed a crime. I hate crime. Uh, plus one intuition plot. Blah, blah, blah. Locations. Morgan's apartment. Alright, let's go. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. Oh, <laughs> that kind of person is scary. Catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. Oh. 11K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, no, I can't crash this car. Rocky I have to be good. I have to be on my best behavior. Oh no, his paint job! It doesn't matter, everything's in black and white. You can't even tell the difference. Ah! I'm seeing everything through a dog's eyes. Begin, begin, Ben. Give me some of that, begin. I really love fisheye lens view of a dog sniffing the camera. I'm just a dog sniffing camera. I'm an upstanding officer. I'm an example to everyone in the forest. An inspiration, really. Sniff, 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 sniff. Wait, cats are colorblind too? Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Well, I'm not technically a cat. F. Morgan. Apartment 2. Apartment 2, huh? What kind of sleazy bastard is in there? Wait, that's that guy from the bar. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. Mm. You're under arrest. Adrian. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just <gasps> let me get my things. Do you like musicals, you know sir? Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. <laughs> uh. Where did he go? Did he go on the roof? Or wait, he's up. Oh fuck! Hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot him. He seemed really nervous. All right, all right, I got this. I got this. Help he's gonna run all the way to Seattle. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black, you're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up. A How struggle. do you feel about just facial moisturizer, let me get sir? My I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. This is Remember, the funny the wacky chase music. All right, all right, all right. There's no point I see running, you. Adrian. Adrian, wait. He's going down. He's going down. He's one! He's Mr. one! Black, get back here right now! Come back here, you incorrigible little mischievous little boy! No supper tonight! It's over, Adrian! Stop right there, Adrian! 
Uh, Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the conspiracy DA has to say about Conspiracy and fraud? That's all serious. On a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife. Could you really get in that much trouble for faking your death? I hope she was worth it, Adrian. <gasps> Yo, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. It's Efficient a massive drain on police resources to investigate a fake presence. murder? What are you to draining from the police resources? Learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Ugh. They got enough resources to go around. Oh, no, they couldn't, uh... Pull someone over for a ticket because they're investigating a fake murder. Oh no! It doesn't fucking matter. I gotta get my quota for pulling someone over for going five miles over the speed limit. I can't be investigating a fake murder. This is preposterous. Wait, how much did I cause in damages? Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps. What am I drinking? We got a report of a, a big pink water bottle. In an empty lot off Second it's kind of fleshy. Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. I'm out of here. It's like a glass water bottle and it has like a sleeve over it. It's like pink and fleshy. Nine thousand dollars in damages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Uh, taxpayer money can cover it. On a stolen car racket. And then the louse calls and says, "Hand it over to you. Uncle Sam." We catch all the good ones, huh, folks? Whoa. Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You yeah. Don't say. You're on fire today. Man. Yeah, what Very he said. Funny. Come on, man. Yeah, I love the fleshy feel too. It's nice. Wait. Is where I need to be like over here, like across the street? Should I get in the car for it? The music in this game is really cool. It really is like watching an old detective story movie. I want the police car. Not the car? Why not? You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. What? Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Humping? Margaret should show some. Christ alive! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cancel the dialogue. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Oh. I got used to looking at the black and white. Oh. Phelps. Traffic. Um, I'm Officer Houlihan. Act Park natural. Down the alleyway, detectives. I kind of feel wrong to play with the colors on at this point. Yes, sir. The car has flags. I don't know. Maybe some kind of diplomatic vehicle? Colors Does anyone touch this vehicle this since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. How important? We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. Creates such a different feel. I like it. Pretty important. Oh. A baseball! Hmm. Doesn't tell me anything. 
会メンバーオプティミスティックコーブコーラスベンドインフォーミーあっフォーフォーフォーフォーBatch 1247. How can I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Mm -hmm. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thank you. It's nice that they just have little phones just for the police. Hanging about. Wait, this car. Oh. Mm. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. What? Huh? Empty. Oh. Nothing in the trunk. What's over here? Missing wheel? Hmm. Real smart guy over here, real Stealing smart out. For amateurs. Yeah. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Mmm. So Argentine and Argentinian flag? I don't I don't see anything. It just looks like a face. Wait. <gasps> What's this? I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it any street value. Hmm. Whoever did this is a real sicko. Miss anything? Maybe it... talk to some people hanging them up. I don't know why you're doing that, buddy, but I wish you'd stop. I'm stumped. Ideas? Yeah, please tell me where to go. Jacob's guy has to say. The car Jacob's. was dumped in his backyard after all. Is that the guy who's sitting on the boards? Oh, he looks really grumpy. Oswald Jacobs? Wait a minute, is that right. the guy from that one animated GIF GIF? That is like... What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Oh. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. <laughs> Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Oh. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. 
Oh, they stole the flag. He's telling the truth. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off. Tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> in Mexican? Sir? No, I do not. <laughs> they were like, Cuño carajo. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Ooh. He looks uncomfortable. Should I doubt him? He, yeah, he looks like he's taking a fat one. Looks like he's penting off a big log. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Oh. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. He just ain't a warhead. I love those. Oh. He looks... Normal. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. Yeah, right, like whether man. someone was Mexican or not. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint What's job stands red? out a mile. Is that a flavor? What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't! Liar! Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what would I do with license plates? As a you souvenir! I have them? Uh... Oh... Should I ask about the missing flag or the missing license plates? The rent? Back out? If you don't ask, you never find out. Wait. Wait. What do I- Whoa! Everyone told me to back out, Stags. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? Yeah, because he- He I took the flag off. I found in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the no, chair on my the porch. The Argentine and the blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. I got four out of four collect. Could you collect. get the car out of the way? If you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's match? Chad keeps gaslighting me. I'm really vulnerable to that today. I don't know who to believe. My mind is in the fucking ozone layer right now. I'm like... I'm a worry boy. I'm a worry wart and I'm... I need to be expressed. I need someone to put like a... One of those cold things on me to zap me away. A notebook on porch. That's right. That's right, there was that. The, the thing he was talking about. Over here. Wait, why did you say that color was important in this one? It doesn't seem like it is. Oh, is Basically, it because of the color of the car? A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. John Madden. Oh. William Dewey. Contact details. One of the Dewey William brothers. Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Time to make a business call. And I don't mean taking a pee pee. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Michigan? Connecting you now. 
now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? Oh! He's in How big trouble. Man? Just turned 16. <gasps> Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. What if it is the right person? Messages, please. They start young, you know. There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Ooh. I have to go interview one. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. <laughs> we'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement plan Jacobs, comes together. I'll read your report back at the station. I had to do an interview this weekend, actually. Or maybe... Was that on Monday? I guess Monday is technically part of my weekend. So what's going on over there? I did an interview... for an article. I can't say which one yet. But... I was, like, really scatterbrained. Because I've been, like, super distracted by all kinds of stuff. And I hadn't had all of my coffee that day. And... <gasps> but I swear... We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. The nice Your guy call. who interviewed me probably thought I was, like... ...completely out of my mind. Like, I probably sounded like a... ...crackpot. Let's go to Dewey Bros. Yeah, that interviewer was probably pressing X the whole time. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm gonna go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. No, I was completely sober. I would never ever... ...like, get drunk or anything before doing a fucking interview. Oh. Shit! God damn maniac! I'm on the straight and narrow. Keeping the streets safe. Yeah, where did that car come from? Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one... What do you think this place is? You think this is a free country? I do drive like this in real life. And before that interview, I drink like 50 beers. And I was super high and fucked up. And I... I wear an eye patch and have a pirate leg. It's like a wooden leg. You hear like a wet slapping noise and like the sound of wood hitting the floor. You know I'm coming for you. That's what my victims always hear in their final moments. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model <laughs> four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that well, car. I was just really just nervous. And I'm not good at interviews. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> I did my best though and he was really nice. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Bill Dewey. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. You bet I did great. Thank you. I think I did decently. I don't want to duty on myself two months. Because the more you do that, the more you start... It's just not helpful to duty on yourself. You start like... When you treat yourself like that, you start... Internalizing it too much and really believing it. Come like the Septic 5 video. I need to keep my pipes clean. We keep all our tools in here. Intuition. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. All right, let's take a look. Left bumper. Wait, what's? Oh. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a oh. mess. A nose hair plucker. I don't think this is going to help us. 
is this lipstick? Maybe. No. <laughs> Mm. Oh! A license plate! Not much help. Oh. I've had the license plate stolen off my car before. Apparently people do that... ...to put them on stolen cars to make it easier to, like, get away with it. To go on. Yeah, really, it was a pain in the ass. When that happens, you have to, like, call the police and have them come over and... ...file a report on it. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? I've had, like, three crimes committed car. against my car... Nice ...in the last few years. Your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you yeah, Scram, beat it. Oh. That's not right. Hmm. Another puzzle. This one goes up here, I think. The first crime that was committed against my car was the, the license plate being stolen. Too small. Wrong size. And then my car was broken into. Like a year later. One left. I came back. I was like, what the fuck? Why is there a bunch of, like, shit laying outside my car? No. Wait, that's my shit. Can't and the weirdest really thing is, I had, like, a GPS free. thing in my car and they didn't even take it. They didn't really take anything. I sat in there, like, looking, like, trying to find what they stole. And they left behind more than what they stole. There was, like, an empty Mountain Dew can in my cup holder. And I felt like I was going crazy because I was like, wait a minute. I don't drink Mountain Dew. Where did this come from? Doesn't look like anything. Ooh. Yeah, they broke in just to leave all their trash in there. Couldn't they find... A trash receptacle that wasn't my Prius? Oh... What are those? Would one of these be... No good. We need oh. diplomatic plates. No. It does kind of look like a trash bin. Maybe that's why they got confused. My shitty little... Wussy pussy car! That's it. I'm selling it and I'm getting a Hummer. I don't care anymore. Oh. Help me out. Hold on, let me whisper we'll sweet nothings in your ear. To put in our report. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Dewey. You know I had to do it to him. Where'd that? Where'd he go? This motherfucker. Is he over here? This rotund looking gentleman? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Uh, Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Oh, uh, that's not a, a comfortable face, is it? Just about enough of you His lip you. is doing What's something very strange. Valdez. The embassy bought the car. When it comes in for service, Valdez picks it up. That's it. Face blindness doesn't affect, like, reading someone's expression. Face blindness is more like recognizing someone's appearance. Like, I know a face when I see it. I swear. Stop copying me! Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Yeah, I'm an empath. I can feel his aura. Oh, he looks shifty. He's lying. You're lying. You've got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. He's in your you bedroom. Can't prove any different. Oh. 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 Nope. 
Tupac had his name that in it. Tempers like a time bomb. What? I want nothing more to do with him or you. What? A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night. He has a face. A couple of I recognized it. Taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. <laughs> he looks like a dog about to throw up. I can't tell if that's him lying or just like if that's how his face looks. Is he telling the truth? <laughs> Stop lying to me, Dewey. The Wait. thieves work for oh, you. Oh shit! I didn't mean to hit the button. You can't prove that. Don't I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh. Uh. I gotta tickle his belly. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? I'm sorry. I had a stroke. I forgot what That's button it. was true. Like I said. The workshop's too close to the street. Yeah, I rubbed his, the wrong Stiff arm. Keep an eye on and he went, ooh. You have to rub the left eye kneecap eye first to make his pleasure meter go up. With the LAPD. All right, I'm gonna make a business call. Oh. Nice. I wanna go. Skateboarding. Zero out of three? Really? Hey, I did that bad? Such a thing as soap, you know. Phelps badge 1247. Everyone, like every NPC in a Rockstar game is just so hateful towards you. For no good reason. I'm just doing my job. Everyone's talking about how bad I smell. And that my parents are brother and sister. See how good his excuse is. Calling me slow. That price is outrageous. It's like my Twitch chat. I saved a whole year for that car. I mean they're right, but you shouldn't say it out loud. I'm so hungry. <laughs> wait, wait. I need to get everyone's respect. So, let's go to Gabriel's residence. <laughs> Thank you, Kios. She's on fire for getting those subs. Thank you. Did you read the story in the examiner about the Navy developing three to Wait, the alert is so quiet. I heard like a scream and I was like, wait, was that no, someone I hit with my like car? But no, it's just the like, gift some sound effect. <laughs> well, that's clear as mud. Ah. Thank you. That's ridiculous. Ah, thank you. Open ah. your eyes. Ah. Oh, sorry, my eyes were closed. <laughs> How did he know? Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color. And look what we have now. Oh. My innocent officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. No, no, I have no time for that. I have to go to Gabriel's house. Drift. Slide! You're gonna kill someone! Like a glove. Oh wait, I'm in someone's backyard. I just ran over a bird. Uh I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. <laughs> Maybe I drive better if you shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah! You tell him! I can't concentrate. You sit down, you shut up, or I'll turn this police car around. Take you back to the station. And stay back while I do all the fun crime stuff. Wait, I gotta go up. Whoa. Ah. Way too close. Um, oh goodness gracious. Ah How do I 
I get up from here? Do I need to go? I guess I'll just get out of the car. Alright, partner. In crime solving. Thank you. I love the bully. Forgive the nonsense. I want to play a racing game. Delgado's residence, 3.20 p.m. Whenever a game offers the option to drive... I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Go into a disassociative state. I love to go vroom. I heard good things about Forza. Is this the right door even? Oh my god, she's pregnant. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes. Wait a minute, you're pregnant. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. I'm going to have to question the baby, ma'am. I have to put my ear up next to your belly and hear the sloshing noises. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told He's kicking a lot. That's kind of suspicious. I'll stay with the broad. Do you have a license for that baby? Nearly 20 weeks. 20. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? It would be extremely you are wrong painful. About Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. I want to talk. What now? If Gabriel isn't here, we need to make this case without him. Look around. Find something concrete. Why did he steal the car, Anna? Tell the me about him. The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Uh, true? Honor, Anna? He said to his friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, do we? I'm going to have to take a look inside, ma'am. Take the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Sit. I got an intuition point. So you know I did a good job. He is ready. This is him. He's working on a car. It's difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Yeah, I can't tell. Is it red? Oh, cornflakes. There's product placement. Isn't that the cereal that they made to make people stop jacking Sugar off? Breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Like it tastes so bland that you eat it and you're like, I don't need to touch my wiener anymore. Well, they like roosters too. My mom really likes roosters. She went through a phase where she would just get everything rooster decorations. We had like a, a rooster cookie you die? Like, you take the rooster's head off, and inside of the rooster's body is where the cookies are. Whoa, what is this? Yeah, my mom was crazy for cock. Oh, these are baby names! That's so cute! I love that meme of, like, the... The mom with the like chalkboard with all the really horrible baby names and they're like Grayson, Braxton, Beyblade, Kyle. I know, I know! My controller vibrate and it goes ding 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 when there's a clue. Wait a minute. Could this be? Oh. 
Souvenirs are a dumb move. The stolen flag. The holy bibble. Nope. Nope. The holy bible is evidence though. Evidence. That God made us and loves us. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. <laughs> no, stop. Stop making this game horny. Stop. Shut up about it. Stop talking about the fucking vibrator thing. Now I'm just picturing this like fucking 40 year old pasty cop dude putting like a vibrating butt plug in his ass. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna cry. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been No! Here? Not spoilers! For at least three nights. It was a different time. Wait, she's... Her eyes are shifting around. Is she lying? I guess it's good for his prostate health. Oh. Uh... Anna, do you want to go to jail? Oh you God! To be born in jail. <laughs> he was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. Did I do the wrong thing? Man, we're gonna have to take your baby to the station. <laughs> He's so disappointed in me. I'm sorry, I just like, I'm... I'm quick to be suspicious. Cause like... I don't know. She seems like a nice lady, but... I can't tell with like the face... Face... Face expressions. How did that baby get in you? Are there more clues, maybe? Please leave. Okay, okay, okay. You have what you need. I don't know if I have what I need. <laughs> Mrs. Rodriguez, what is sex? Don't lie to me. Is my partner coming? Is he just gonna stay there? She told me to leave, so... Wait, there might be more clues. Ah, oh, shit, I left my oven on! Give him about five more minutes? Yeah, maybe his clue-sensing butt plug is... Still got some juice left in it. Anything in here? Uh, where do you see a number three mark on that door? Oh. Do I need to go to the other apartment? He's sitting down there. Oh. Yeah, she was like, you can leave now. So... Wait, I'm stuck. Oh. She seemed kind of mad and I didn't want to make her more mad. Oh, here we go. What's this? Some Not sure kind this of... Means much. Accessory? Wait! Don't think this is anything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing there. Mm. Yeah, I want her to give me five stars and leave a tip. Oh, her tea water is boiling. What's 
in the backyard. Do they have a garage? from the vehicle. What is this? Circumstantial. Circumstantial. Whoa. This isn't what we're looking for. What about this? Not everything here is going to be... What do you even use that for? Okay, okay, okay. Now what's this? I don't think so. Oh, okay. These Packard. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Oh, he'll be so happy. I bet he missed them. found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle to the shed. Oh, God! Sorry, my mom messes me. Gabriel for a dozen <laughs> other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You look like you're wearing a necklace made out of cocoa puffs. I don't need to take your BS. Then tell us where he is! If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. Yeah, and your baby's gonna get all there like spillway under buff the from working out river. in jail and <laughs> Many get covered in tattoos. Trying to follow him. Pick up a lot of nasty habits. That baby's so gonna we'll attempt a now. fucking as prison as as with escape with all the inmates. Rile up everyone. Like it's gotten out of hand this last year. That's gonna be one bad baby. You don't want that, Mrs. Rodriguez. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. No, no. Don't need to be that harsh. So this way. Wait, is the clue music still playing? That's the cop from the newspaper. Wait, me? What's it to you? Okay, okay, he's had enough. <laughs> I'm famous. I've gained so much notoriety. Oh, street racing. Now, if there's anything I can't stand. What kind unsafe of vehicle practices girlfriend at home while Can we to keep the streets safe pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs <laughs> some guys wouldn't come back home at all are you talking from experience <laughs> <laughs> but pregnant women are funny you think that's fucking funny, huh? You think a pregnant girlfriend is some laughing matter? You think her big, bouncing, bulging belly is something to be laughed about? Something to hem and haul at? Get your chuckles out at? Think it's some kind of barrel of monkeys? You think it's funny when her water breaks and it splashes on the floor and she looks up at you with wide eyes and goes, Honey, the water broke! Feel your heart beat start to race. Yep. 
We might get there. As you rush her to the hospital, Do you and you feel up? like your life is really changing in this moment. You think it's so funny when you're laying side by side in this booting position? Watching the late night show in bed, and you're rubbing her pregnant belly, and you can feel your son, your infant son, kick and punch a little beneath her skin? There's the red Ford, that's Delgado, right there. Why do they have to worry about the colors of anything? They just said it outright. Wait, which one is the red one? Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Oh. Reports of an illegal street race. Which one? Is it... Whoa! It's this one. He's getting away. You're gonna lose him. No, 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 I won't lose him. I see him. He's right there. I'm gonna find you. Trunk. Oh, oh shit. Our boy. Forget the others. Bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're in the LA River! Lay into his wheel There's Archie. always gotta be a car chase at the LA River, you know! Step on it, Bells. Take him out. <laughs> Enough games, Phelps. Take this I'm guy taking out. him out! I'm gonna take him to the fancy restaurant. Why is this car so fast? I'm a policeman! I should have the fastest car! Go, Goose Lightning! Go, Goose Lightning! Oh no, he's going up here! My car is smoking! That can't be good! Oh shit! Is he okay? Oh. There's boss music playing. Alright, Gabriel. It's time to put the brakes on your little shindig. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. That's the rhyme of game! Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricon! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should oh. burn his fucking car! Oh! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps is not a bad. I thought this was about you keep stealing cars. What was that about the? Giving me clearances just like the other that. thing. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Was there something I missed because I interrogated someone improperly? Oh, I never interviewed Valdez. Oh! You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Are Good for nice? you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Oh. Attention! <laughs> I mean, come liberty. on, you can tell if your sisters are cute. That's not weird. To be able to recognize that people you're related to are attractive. Good job, Kelsey. Answer me, private. Are they cute? Are your sisters cute? Do you want to kiss your sisters on the lips, sir? Yes, sir. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. Ooh. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Is my brother hot? He's an attractive boy. Kelso, this carbine. And I don't mean that in a dirt. weird way. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, sir. Like, you can say, like, your mom you know and your dad are, like, what are they attractive? Two-day field drill. 
Aww, clean this fun. rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, oh, no. don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Ooh. You would I understand what you mean, but I wouldn't word it like that. How would you word it? If you're measuring the attractiveness of a family member, what would you ah! What would you say? Would you say they're attractive? Would you say they they're a good looking boy? My mom right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony is at Ray's Cafe, two oh eight North beautiful. Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his Don't way. Call them Get attractive? Find any witnesses can put What's wrong with the right call. attractive? Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. I'm a very attractive mom. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. What the hell is the LAPD up to these days? I was door knocking all morning, oh, but I got to make up a car in the end. Advice? My mom is like almost a foot shorter than me. I think. Yeah. And I make her mad by putting my head on top of her head. Like, my chin on her head. Yeah, she's Looks only like six DA's feet tall. Charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. She didn't make it on I'll the college the ball team. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make. And so she was expecting me to. Oh, so she could live vicariously God. through me. Ah! Uh, oh no, my door! <laughs> How'd you do that? Ah! I'll give him something better. Oh. A dead end. Watch what you're doing! This is like the Austin Powers scene. <laughs> Wait! So it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, my God. I don't know what to have for dinner tonight. Oh, my God, what time is it? I gotta go soon. I'm in trouble. I gotta go soon and I gotta order food. I don't know if we're still doing it tonight, but... Me and Melcy were gonna do some manner of collab tonight. Race Cafe, 4.43 a.m. After midnight, that's when the real sickles come out. Yeah, I don't know who all is gonna be in it. Detectives! I think Over maybe here. Connor... Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? And we asked Ethel too. a white male named Lester Patterson walked he out said of he'd be down. the street. I think we were gonna play there, Uno. He ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. If they're still up to it. The area? The only one with anything I started kind of late. The young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that Ooh. so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're gonna take a Got a, a dreamer around. over here. Some other head up in the clouds. Phelps? You should take oh a look God. at the body. I don't wanna touch it! It's icky! Uh, 
landed on his face and I'm gonna be here. real with you guys. I kind of forgot how to play Uno, and I forget every single time. I think like every time I've played Uno, the last three times I've said I forgot how to play Uno. <laughs> I never. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Hmm. Dear Mr. Pattinson. Pattinson. Pat Pattinson. Life insurance. What the fuck? Circled that and wrote, what the fuck? 16,000. Tell you what up babe is when you're ready. We have much to learn. Tap tap. We can notify next of kin. Hmm. Oh boy, that's my favorite part. Oh, don't mind if I do. Wait, no, take it! Come on! <sighs> so stingy. Alright, there we go. You're a nice man. You're a nice dead body. Good boy. I hope that when I die... I don't... Look stupid. Like, it'd be really embarrassing. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I will. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Everyone looks Looking stupid when they die. Not I'm everyone. Sure what about the chest wound? Isn't I've seen some pretty cool looking dead bodies. Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Mm -hmm. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. How often am I seeing dead bodies? Often enough? Every time I close my eyes. Let's go here. Are the enemies of civilization and democracy. It's up to every American man. Fuck, I have to go, but I want to keep playing. I have to be a good girl. I can't Why be late for my collab. Section without killing anyone. Can you do that for me? Is Masi on right now? She said she'd be on late. I told her, like, I might stream late today. And that we can collab when she comes on and I'll raid her. Okay, she is? Okay, 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 okay. I'll wrap up then. I wanna do a sick trick with my car, though. Whoa, the moon looks so big! Watch it! Nice! Okay. <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna read Mousy now. I'm gonna go grab some Dindin. And I'll try to be quick. I don't know if we're still on for the club tonight or not, but... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll show up on our stream in a bit. Thank you so much, Kiyoshi Senpai! Thank you very much for getting all those subs. Thank you, Starmas, YT. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you, Demonia, for the, the fight subs. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had fun today. I want to play this more. I might play it more tomorrow, actually. I'm really... I'm really hooked. It's got me hook, line, and sinker. Thank you, Waxy25! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Thank you for gifting those subs! 
Thank you, thank you. This game is so good. I like it a lot. I like... I like Rockstar games. I think they're silly and fun, but this one, like... Combines the silliness and the funness with some, like... Great atmosphere. And I just love... I love being a detective. Being in the 1940s. And driving a car. And having people yell at me on the street. It's a dream come true. I'm really, I'm really... Uh, intrigued to see where it goes. And I have to, like, train myself to get better at telling when someone's lying. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Waxy! Getting all the subs. Uh, also, playing in the, the grayscale mode is actually really cool. This game is really cool! I like it a lot. Yeah, it is 1940s. Uh, I'll... I'll work on my detective skills. I gotta prove myself. I'm not some rookie. They have to let me on the big case. Gatita <laughs> Noir? Isn't that combining Spanish and French? Gatita Noir. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I'll see you on the other side. And... <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm so hungry. It feels like I'm gonna eat my entire brain. Like my brain is just like being dissolved slowly into my body because I'm lacking nutrients. Oats and curry. Thanks, babe. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice night. Eat something delicious. I know I'm going to. I need to refuel my gamer tank. I'm running on fumes right now. Thank you for all the. The hopes and prayers. I will enjoy my food. You enjoy your food. No, you! Fuck you! Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for loving your station. It is now leaving. Going on another track. I don't know where I'm going. I hate this town. Poopin' fartin' shit. <laughs> <laughs>